Hello, my name's Deanna, and welcome to another episode of Meet the Chickens. In this episode, we will be talking about Easter Eggers. An Easter Egger isn't really a breed, but a name given to any chicken with the blue egg gene that does not fully meet any breed standard defined in the APA standards. This means that an Easter Egger isn't a recognized breed and is instead a chicken that is a mix between two completely different breeds. One of the breeds being a blue egg layer. The most common blue egg layers used to breed Easter Eggers are Americanas and Aracanas. This is why you see most Easter Eggers with either the classic Americana beard or the Aracana ear tufts. Because of this, it is very easy to get an Easter Egger confused with an Americana or Aracana. I will add a link in the description to an article that will better explain the differences between the three. Olive Eggers, who lay olive eggs, are also a type of Easter Egger because they are mixed between a blue egg layer, like an Americana, and a dark brown egg layer, like a Moran. Easter Eggers are mostly popular for their eggs. As the name suggests, they are most known for laying colorful eggs. Sometimes, depending on how they're bred, they can lay different shades of blue, green, brown, and even pink eggs. Do keep in mind that one hen will only lay one color of egg her whole life. The number of eggs they lay per year can be different depending on how they were bred, but they will often lay around 280 large to extra large eggs per year. They are also a great breed for eggs because the hens don't often go broody. Because Easter eggers are mixes, they could come in a variety of colors and unique patterns. From my experience, Easter eggers can be quite docile and friendly when handled properly. They are fairly independent and love to free roam. We would now like to share with you guys some of our Easter eggers. Okay, so this is our first semi-Easter egger. Uh, she's a mix uh, between one of our Easter eggers and Jer Partridge Cochin. Partridge Cochin. Yeah. Bantam. Bantam. Bantam Partridge Cochin. And so her name is Bella. And we hatched her... When did we hatch her? She's only like six weeks old. Six weeks old? But she is growing so cute and she is really cute. Right now we have uh, her and one of her siblings over in yeah, the this... chicken moat. And then this is Dream. He is also a mix between a Bantam Partridge Cochin and one of our Easter Egger hens. Um, and th uh, they're both six weeks old. We hatched them together. And they are so cute. We, we, don't ha uh, we haven't handled them very much, so they are a little skittish around us. But right now we have them over in the chicken moat garden. Well, it's not a garden yet. The chicken moat. Yeah, chicken moat garden. Chicken moat garden. <laughs> And we are excited to see how they grow up and how their feathers change over time. And then what their egg color will be. Well, this one's egg color will be. <laughs> so this next Easter egger here, her name is Chewy. We named her Chewy because when she was a baby and we got her, she was one of the fluffiest chicks we ever seen. And she was a nice, she was a brown fluffy chick and she was so cute. She loved to lay on her back in your hand and she just uh, loved to cuddle in your hand. She, we haven't handled her very much either and so she is quite skittish too but she is so sweet and I love her dark feather. She's become very dark. We had bought chicks from, where did we buy these guys? Meyer Hatchery. Meyer Hatchery. And along with the ones we wanted to get, we got some mystery ones, some surprise ones, I guess. And so she was one of them. And so, hey, well, come down, sweetie. But if you're able to calm her down, she just calms right down. She just cuddles. This next uh, Easter egg I have here, her name is Luna. And she is one of the first chicks we ever cared for. And we bought her at... 
a feed store when we went to get feed for our coaches we had, and we just couldn't resist picking some of the some of these guys up. So, uh, she's one of the first chicks we ever bought and cared for, and she is uh so she's so kind and nice. Uh, she loves to hop up on laps when you sit down, and she'll tuck her head under your arm, and um. As you could probably see right now, her back is a little scratched up. She became one of the rooster's favorites to breed with, so she ended up getting all her back feathers scratched off, and so we have a nice saddle on her, her to help see if it could help grow her feathers back and not get so scratched up. But, um, she's beautiful and she's one of my favorites. She's a sweetheart. She's such a sweetheart. Okay, so this next Easter egg, her name is Pip. And as you could probably tell, she is a lot like Luna. We got them together at a f our local feed store when we bought Luna. And they both have become such sweethearts and love jumping up on your lap and hey, their mama in the background. Um, she loves tucking her head under your arm too. Um, though her back isn't as thrashed like Luna's. Um, we named her Pip because when we got her, she was the smallest out of the chicks we had gotten. And she was just this cute little chick, but she's grown up big and strong, and she's still, she's still slightly smaller than her sister Luna, but she is so cute and sweet. They are both such sweethearts. I love to cuddle. Yeah. I have to cuddle with Mom, Mama. Your sweetheart. Your beard is filthy. <laughs> Need a bath. Filthy, filthy beards. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video on Easter eggers and I guess all of eggers as well. Um, if you like this video, make sure you give it a like, and if you also like what everything else we put out, hit the subscribe button and turn on not the notifications so you never miss what we upload. Next time we will be going over. <laughs> Next time we will be go going over light Sussexes, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Bye bye!